Hello YouTube, this is Scotty coming to y'all tonight here on my channel here. So how are y'all ladies and gentlemen doing out there? Um, I want to thank all my uh, subscribers for uh, subscribing to my channel. Um, thanks for the comments that they're leaving behind. Um, uh, nobody's left any comments last night. Um, Thanks for the thumbs up. Uh, let me know that y'all are there watching. I uh, appreciate that. Um, we're trying to get my uh, YouTube channel up to date and growing. So, um, we've been doing tool demonstrations and stuff. So, um, I'm going to kind of go over a little bit about my fishing gear and equipment that I use and stuff so um so y'all just bear with me I'm gonna try and pull it up the best that I can without making a big mess because I got a very long pole here this pole here is the uh Walmart brand Tigers uh spinning Shakespeare with an op open face reel on it um I like this one really well. This is a big pole that I use. Uh, let me see if I can't get it down here. I got my big old catfish hook on it with a two inch weight. Um, this is great for uh, bumping bottoms and stuff like that. Um, especially in rougher water. Now if you're in um, small creeks and lakes and ponds and stuff like that it's good to put a one one ounce weight on it instead of a two ounce weight um because water's not going to be as bad but that's what i like to use and then my wife she likes to use this one right here and she's also got a two inch weight on it with a little smaller hook on it i've got another catfish hook in there that i'm going to put on this one this is also a Walmart brand uh, slingshot, yeah, slingshot pole by uh, Lebo. Yeah, Lebo, uh, and it's got a uh, just a regular reel on it, 202. And this is about a, I think this here's got about a 10 pound test line on it. And the other one's got, a, I think, a 15 pound test line on it. Um, it's the same way. It's got a two ounce weight on it as well. Those are the two poles that I've got that I like to use. Uh, my wife used one and I used one. Um, we're probably going to be um, getting a couple of more poles here in the next couple of days or so. Um, I used to have like five or six poles in them. Um, Somebody else likes to help their self to stuff that don't belong to them and they don't want to ask. So, yeah, we will call them uh, people who like to help themselves, known as thieves. Um, so, but it is what it is. Um, so, mm, pull my tackle box up here just a little bit. Um, I've got all kind of different tackle, tackle gear here. Um, I've got weight, sinker, weights, um, uh, more line. This here is a 10 pound, 10 pound, 10 pound test line. Can't even talk. And I've also got a lot of little, uh, bobblers, floaters. And some little silver spinners and stuff like that, so I can do a little bit of bass fishing if I want to with that. Um, I've got several different hooks up here. Um, and then I've got all different kind of little lower, uh uh, lube, uh, Lord, lube, I can't pronounce the word, uh, jigs, crappie jigs, is what I call them, you know, 
Uh, so I've got a pretty good little system set up uh, here. Um, enough to get started on for the summer. And then we got this little bad boy here, which is I uh, got these little solid body tubes. You know, and I've got a bunch of them in here. Even with hooks. See, here's some with hooks. See, they got little hooks in them and stuff that I like to use. So, um, so we're set. All we got to do is just go fishing, right? Catch up some fish and probably make a video on doing some fry cat fishing. Sounds like good, don't it? Sounds like a good idea. Do some fried catfish. So, um, I'm a cat person. I like to go catfishing. Uh, a lot of people like brims and bass and stuff like that. They're okay, but I'm a cat person. I'm just a cat person. Uh, there are two different types of cats. There's ponds, cats that have been raised, um, which is good. But I prefer mine come out of the river. Um, seems more natural that way to me. I mean, that's just my personal opinion about it. But um, so, yep. Um, today is uh, Sunday. Um, I hope everybody had a blessed day. Um, I think. Is up tomorrow. Uh, whew. I'm tired. Y'all can tell. I'm doing some work today, buddy. I'm taller. Um, but I think a lot of, um, not everything is opening up, I don't think, but a lot of places is going to probably start generating business. A little bit. Um, I've got a uh, not my baby brother, but a younger brother. Um, he lives out in Georgia. He runs a um, dog, uh, what's it called, a dog daycare center, um, where people takes and drops their dogs off during the daytime, whether at work or out of town or whatever for whatever reason. <sighs> well, I can't stop yawning, y'all. Um, I was talking to him yesterday, I think it was. Uh, his business is doing better. Um, he's getting back up in uh, around twenty dollars dog a day range, uh, which is good. Um, he got down to where he was only doing three or four dogs a day, and now he's getting it back up. So. Um, and all that due to the coronavirus, you know. People don't have to work, so they're at home, so they can spend more time with their animals, and they didn't need a, somebody to sit it. Um, he has a, uh, it's a uh, dog daycare is what it is. Um, he mainly does just dogs right now. I think in later future, I think he, uh, this is a new business for him. He just picked it up when he moved to uh, Georgia. And uh, he doesn't do cats right now, but I think he's in the process. He's got it in his mind that he wants to do a cat business, but he doesn't have the setup for it right yet. Um, in other words, I think he is in the working process of it. He just got to get get it there. So, I think once he gets it there, I think he'll be doing all right once he gets it there. So, keep him in your prayers. Um, I hope everything goes good with him on that. Um, Y'all can check me out over at Twits TV. Uh, Scotty1979, that's where I met over there, Scotty1979, um, I 
I'm, I'm found over there. I do a live stream over there um, for about an hour, two hours, uh, depending on my view counts and stuff. So we do really well over there sometimes. So, yep. But, yeah, I like going fishing, though, back to the, the fishing bases. I didn't want to try to get off touch with it. I love fishing. Um, I like to go boat riding. Um, I have a 24-foot uh, pontoon boat. Um, it's uh, about a 95 model boat, I'm thinking. But I was looking at the trailer, and the trailer is at 84. So, does that actually mean that the boat is actually a 95? I'm not sure. I can't stop yawning, y'all. I'm tired. I'm ready to go to bed. It's been a long day for me. I've been up since 4 o'clock this morning, so y'all understand where I'm coming from. So, but yeah. Um, today has been a really progressive day for me. It really has. So, um... What else? Um, but yeah, I got a 24 foot bottom, flat bottom, uh, not a flat bottom, but a pontoon boat. Um, the motor on it is an Evinru, uh 115 horsepower V4. Thing's got two carburetors on it. Um, I would have fixed it myself. Uh, it needs a carburetor um, rebuild on it. Both of them does. Simply because it's leaking fluid and it's been sitting up for a few years. And, uh, I just decided to go ahead and take it to the, um, to the, um, a service dealer agent, a boat dealer, uh, mechanic. And, um, he gave me, uh, a deal that I couldn't refuse because um, their business has been slow as well, so, and so he's, um, offered me a deal on bringing that boat in and just letting him go over it and look, see what was going on with it, see what it does need. <sighs> yeah. See what it does need, and it's, um, should be ready, um, He's supposed to call me um, Thursday or Friday and let me know, hey, this is what's going on with it. Um, whether if we get the green light or the red light, um, I'm hoping that we get all green light to uh, just rebuild the carburetor and it'll be a good boat. Um, I just bought this boat back last summer. Uh, didn't have time to do with it, do anything with it last summer. Um... Last week I took the wheels off and the uh, wheel hub was in really bad shape and the uh, bearings, when I pulled them off, bearings just went everywhere. So I put new bearings on both sides, um, put uh, newer tires on it as well. It needed them because the other ones that was on there was probably as old as the trailer would. The guy that owned the boat, he lived, I think, from the house to the boat ramp was exactly one mile, maybe a mile and a half, if that, but I think it's more like one mile. Uh, didn't see the limit, so he never got it over 20 miles an hour, so... Uh, even though on the dry, dry ride of tires, they never really got hot enough to blow or whatever. Um, now they, uh, yeah, well, he didn't actually give me the boat. I've actually worked for the boat. Um, I'm on the, the property up here for him. Um, he now lives in Florida. Um where he wanted to go um he got his property up here for sale 
So, I don't know. So, what's he going to do with it? So, I think he'll end up passing on and still have the property. And maybe I'll still have to mow the yard. I don't know. But, um, I've got the boat out of it. So, that, that was a good thing about it. That's what I really wanted. Uh, I know it was a good boat, but him and his boy, either one, hasn't been in it. I know I know for a fact for two years, because I had it last summer, so I know it wasn't running then. And a year before that, it ain't been out at all. Because um, his son's been in Florida for two years now, I think. So, so I know the boat's been sitting up for over two years. So, so I always got to get stuff checked out first we get out on the water. You realize how much trouble it would be for a pontoon boat to get it out there on the water and get out there and first of all how embarrassing it would be just sitting at the boat dock trying to get it off the trailer and the thing wouldn't even start. So that'd be embarrassing there but it would be bad if I've got it out on the water and it died on me. Um, that would not be pretty. Um, I have to call somebody in, I have to tow us in, and then we had to figure out what's going on, what made it get hot, um, or stuff like that. So, uh, instead of me having to figure all that out, I just took it up here to the shop up here and let him go over and say, hey, this is what it needs, and to make it right. Um... I do know they took the automatic oiler off. Um, I do not have the finances right now to put another automatic oiler on it. But it is in the works of putting one back on. Um, I'm thinking with this second round of uh, stimulus package it may be coming around. Um, if it does, I don't know if it will or if it won't or if it does, if it don't, I don't know. But if it does come back around for a second time, I will um, more than likely spin that because I think I automatic oil and put one back on it's going to be about right around $600. So, uh, them things ain't cheap. Um, and I'm not sure how it really works, so um, I may talk to this mechanic guy and see what he suggests on doing. Should I keep mixing it? And if I keep mixing it, I think it's going to get really uh, irritating, you know, after. Because it's a 17 gallons, I think. It's a 17 gallon tank on there. So if I take three jugs in there, or three five gallon jugs, I'm going to have to mix oil with a five gallon jug and uh, do it three times. And then it is just to have an automatic filler and put your oil in it and then your fuel separate. Um, I think it'd be better off that way. But, you know, they like to burn up quick too, like that too. So. All right, well, I've done been on here 19 minutes already, rambling about my personal opinions about fishing, what I like to do. So, uh, if you like what you hear, uh, I will be posting some uh, videos on me and my wife fishing. Uh, we will be doing that. So, uh, yeah, hit that subscribe button, hit the like, give me a thumbs up, hit that notification bell. Click on all so you see all my content that comes up when it comes up. And um, help me support, uh, help my brother out and support me on this channel. Uh, leave some comments down below what kind of fish you like. What kind of fish do you like to fish for? Um, uh, do y'all like ocean, salt water, or fresh water fish? Um, I never really cared too much about saltwater fish, but freshwater fish, catfish is my number one. Alright, appreciate y'all. 
Uh, y'all, uh, see y'all on the next run.